All right, so for fill, what we're going to do is we're going to enter equals say, and then this will pop up. So we're going to press tab and enter. And what that's going to do is every single time you open the spreadsheet, it will generate the exact same date for today. So if we open this tomorrow, it will be June 17th and so on and so forth. So you don't have to do that. I just like to do that because it's a nice little trick and some of you may not know how to do that, but now you do. So either way, you can just enter the date manually. And then we're going to click on this one here and then we're going to get to the corner where it brings up that black plus sign and we're going to drag it down. So that is filling what is in the first one. And then the reason why it is doing the exact same dates is because we're filling the formula. So if we didn't do it that way, then we just entered June 16th, 2021. Break that down again. Now it's going to fill based off of one plus one plus one plus one and so forth. So for the copy, so I'll just put it in 2021. So copy, we want to copy the same date. So we want to tell Excel that we want to copy the same date. So in order to do that, what we need to do is we need to create two of the same dates, highlight the dates, and then drag it down. Okay, so we have fill. We have copy, and now we're gonna do monthly. So June 16th, 2021, and July 16th, 2021. So this is telling Excel that the dates that we wanna copy down and fill down is based off of every month. So down, oh, and then if you happen to get these hashtags or whatever you wanna call them, just go up top here. That's basically telling you that you don't have enough space to generate the numbers because we have nine, now we have 10. So we're gonna have a smaller amount of space. So we're just gonna go up here so that it gives you this black icon here, double click that, and that will adjust the width. Okay, so now for weekly, June 16, actually, you know what? Just for easy sake, because I don't feel like bringing out my Calendar, June 7th, 2021, or I guess June 8th, whatever. <laughs> Doesn't matter. We'll just do that. So that's again telling it you want to do it by a week. So we're having this pop up again. So we just go back up here, double click there. All right. So now for yearly. So I'll say January 1st, 2021, and January 1st, 2022. Again, this is now based off of the dates of one year apart. So now it's going to do it based off of the year. So that is how you auto-populate the dates and fill it in for yourself.